Ten years ago, it was a piece of wasteland. The once flourishing tin mining industry in the Kinta Valley finally came to an end. Dwellers in the area were dwindling to a few. The piece of land was gradually being forgotten. Today, the same locale has been transformed into a beautiful, meaningful and purposeful, wonderful place. The place teeming with thousands of youthful people seeking to realize their aspirations and ideals. Guided by a community of learned and dedicated holistic educators, the place has been transformed into a university town with the setting up of the Pera campus of University Tunku Abrahman or Utah. It is a campus surrounded by lakes of blue water, distant hills of green fauna and purpose-built infrastructure that ensures conducive learning. Among the infrastructure stands a prominent imposing structure of grandeur, a palatial hall to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the university. It is a great hall and it needs a name. The name is that of a great man who Utah would like to recognize for his immense contributions and dedication to the university. A man Utah wishes to display its deep gratitude and appreciation as a reminder to those who walk through the corridors of the university of his unparalleled dedication to the university's cause. This is a 30-year-old dream come true and a historic moment for the MCA. Tun Dr. Ling Leong Sik, then MCA President, announced the good news at the opening of the Perak MCA Annual General Meeting in Ipoh on 8 July 2001, a day after receiving the letter inviting MCA to establish Utah from the Education Minister Yambar Hormat Tansri Musa Muhammad. MCA had conceived a dream to set up a university ever since it started Ta College in 1969. The determined Tun Dr. Ling tasked MCA leaders and Ta College senior staff to realize the Utah dream within one year. The Utah founding team then worked furiously and accomplished their mission in 11 months with Utah having its humble beginnings at the temporary campus in Pataling Jaya. On 13 August 2002, the fourth Prime Minister of Malaysia, Tun Dr. Mahade Mohamad, officially launched Utah in Kuala Lumpur. The untiring Tun Dr. Ling did not stop there. He led the equally energetic founding team to raise the required initial 200 million ringgit Utah Main Campus Building Fund. Donations poured in not only from wealthy people, wealthy philanthropists, corporations, organizations, and federal and state governments but also from countless unknown individuals from all walks of life. I remember very clearly, an Indian leader invited me to the Mint Hotel along the Federal Highway and he brought in with him hundreds and maybe a thousand or more young Indian children, each carrying their money boxes, their savings boxes and they laid out the carpet on the stage, had me stand there as witness, whilst all these young people came in and donated. The notes were all dollar notes, 
50 cent coins, 20 cent coins, 10 cent coins, 5 cent coins and at the end of it, all these young children had emptied all their coins and notes. They discovered very happily that they had donated 14,000 ringgit to University Tunku Abdul Rahman. On 13 January 2003, Tun Dr. Mahade officiated a groundbreaking ceremony and the construction of Utah Para campus formally began. Today, exactly four years later, 12th of January 2007, we witnessed this ceremony, the handing over of Phase 1A to the Planning and Development Committee. This occasion marks another milestone for Utah, an indication that its aspiration for the future is progressing according to plan. The campus will be ready to welcome its pioneer batch of students in time for the coming May intake. As planned on 26 May 2007, Utah Para Campus opened its doors to its maiden batch of about 500 Foundation Program students. A few days later, on 1st June 2007, Tun Dr. Ling, the founding Utah President, Tan Sri Dr. Ng Le Sui and the first cohort of students welcome invited guests Perak Menteri Besar Tan Sri Tajo Rosli, MCA President Tan Sri Ongkar Teng and other MCA leaders for the official opening of the Utah Perak campus. I have witnessed the realization of our compound dream from a blueprint design to the groundbreaking and now to its opening. I am confident we can all look forward to seeing the future growth of the Perak campus. Three years later on 1st July 2010, the second phase of Perak campus construction started which led to the building of a majestic hall to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the university on 19 October 2012. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the Day One Tun Dr. Ling Leong Sik. Built on the 12,000 square meter plot west of the lake in Perak campus, the 32.5 meter tall Day One Tun Dr. Ling Leong Sik is an icon that stands out among other structures in the Para campus. Just as a giant among men, Tun Dr. Ling, it is named after. The double eave roof, an open space defined by red columnades, the imposing day one is reminiscent of ancient Chinese Grand Hall with an outstanding feature of monumental Chinese architecture. Surrounding the hall on three sides is a 408 meter long roof walkway which is part of a network of footpaths that serve as a circulation vessel of the campus. As you approach the stately hall, you are greeted by a roof driveway that shields you from the Malaysian hot sunny and torrential rain weathers. Awaiting you is an inviting reception pavilion with a round dome ceiling and a square floor symbolizing the balance and harmony between heaven and earth or Tian Yuan Di Fang. Flanking the pavilion are ponds of water with dark floors representing Chinese ink wells and bridging each pool is a paver slab with protruding blocks on both sides. On top of each block, a Chinese character representing one of the six education pillars of Utah education is emblazoned. This landscape feature was inspired by an ancient Chinese invention, the matrix printing, 
It symbolizes knowledge preservation and dissemination at Utah to promote mutual understanding among local and global communities. An integral part of the architectural design of the hall are two full moon windows at two corners of the hall which afford frame views of the borrowed scenery of mountains, scenic lakes and other buildings of the campus. As you walk past the concourse and enter the grand foyer, you see an imposing four-leaf door with golden stud. The door opens to a majestic hall with two tiers of sitting adequate for 3,500. This hall will open its doors to congregations of graduates for convocations, meetings of bright minds to share ideas, gathering of talents to showcase their work and performances, assemblies of scholars to present their research and creative endeavors, and many other get-togethers in years to come. It is indeed a great hall to commemorate the 10th anniversary of Utah. It is indeed a great hall to be named after a great man with a great vision. <laughs>